Last time we made a route that can be used to list all users on the admin panel. What if we want to select particular user and expand its details? We would have to pass the user ID in the route. So let's see how we could do that in Laravel. So I'm going to create a new route that is going to accept get request type. I'm going to type user slash curly brackets and inside I'm going to define the variable name that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to name it user ID. Now just to make sure this works I'm going to add a function here. Now we need to define a variable that will be accessible inside the function and that is this user ID. Great. As you can see, as we are changing the ID in the URL, it's changing the response. So whatever we type here, it is going to display it here. Now let's see how we can do this if we are using controllers. Just for this example, I'm going to use public controller that we already have. I'm going to create a function inside public controller. And now here we need to define what variable will be accessible inside the function. Great, as you can see it works the same. Now, what if we want to pass, let's say, a name, which means we will have to use multiple variables. As you can see, Laravel is capable of accepting multiple variables in the route. 